Hey, hey everyone, it is Vordy here. We're going to be doing what I kind of talked about a little while ago um, with the new 11 plus 1 poll. We're actually going to make a video just doing a quick re-roll and to show you guys how I normally do it for friends if they're trying to uh, start brand new or whatever or they weren't happy with their first roll. So I show them this and I help them set it up. So essentially this is what it looks like. You have the Knox platform here and then it's the, it's the multi-drive. So this is what the multi-drive looks like. So whenever you're installing Nox, make sure that you install the multi-drive so that it allows you to kind of organize it this way so it's easy to start, run, and delete uh, multiple Nox things. So this here, Nox main account. And then I also did a poll a little while ago when Ace was around, uh, just testing to see. Normally I always do at least one reroll, uh, just to test uh, whenever they do like a new update to see how many tickets you guys get so that if somebody ever asks me, they're like, oh, well, you know, if I was to reroll right now, like. What are my chances of getting something good? Um, before, it used to be pretty good. You would get like 10 or 11 or whatever. When you do the quest, you would finish with like 14 or 15 summoning tickets plus some lapis. So you, you had a pretty good chunk of doing it. So as of right now, with the 11 plus 1 poll system that they're giving here, it's almost over, I think, a few more days. Um, it's actually the best time to re-roll. So I wanted to kind of put up a video to show you what it looks like right now as of uh it is what what is it now it's march 2nd 2017 so obviously later on if you guys are watching this 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 won't be accurate anymore unless they introduce something like this that's going to come back again so i made uh, five emulators i used an apk of final fantasy i just uploaded it into it by clicking the little button here on the right All right it says your file apk switch you can actually drag the file in there or whatever and then just updated the games themselves so let's get rid of all that stuff Okay, so I just kind of updated it, and easy peasy, no big deal, okay? Uh, and then I just got, I skipped the first part there, so that you guys didn't have to watch me download it and install the first part of the patch or whatever, so no big deal. So we're just going to go through the quest here, you can actually see step by step of how long it's going to take. I don't want to just jump right to the end and you guys will be like, oh well, I, I didn't know it was actually going to take this long. It takes a little bit, and that's why it is a smart idea to uh, actually set up more than one if your computer can handle it doing like three or four is ideal um at least two so at least you're doing two so that way you don't have to worry about it and then everything would be pretty good so yeah so let's go through here boom, 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 boom. but yeah i think i just had a brain fart can't remember but anyways so yeah i just want to make sure you guys can see this so it's nice and clear and coherent so you guys are like okay well all the steps are visible so obviously if you don't want to watch the whole story or all these things you can just you know jump in segments to see where we do the polls or whatever but we will get to see where we get the tickets and i'll make comments approximately if it's still the same i haven't done this since the last time i pulled for ace so when i pulled for ace was the last time i actually did this so we'll see if there's been any new uh changes into it other than the 11 plus one the 11 plus one right now is the most appealing for anybody to re-roll okay all right, so there you go. Yep, you're done chatting. So right now, everything should be just simple till we're learning to use um, special abilities or something like that, or cast Blizzard or whatever. So my advice is to make sure that you follow these um, the requirements that they ask you, like the challenges to get the Lapis, because that will give you a chance to pull the half off as well. So you need 250 at least. And if you do all of them, I think you might be able to actually get the half off plus an additional 500 to do the full one. Which I think is wise. The more pulls you can do in every attempt, the better you are. Because then you'll get a better return on your investment. Which is you going in and doing all, like, investing the time to run through all these things over and over again. Until you're happy with the pull you get. Alright, so we got, that's what I'm saying, these guys here. The completion rewards. You want to do these because you get 50 lapis for every time you beat it. And you follow up with all of the rewards. Boom, boom, boom. All right, so here we go. So if you guys are new as well, this is here that says till rank eight. So until, until I am rank eight up here, uh, all of these quests are free. They, ca they cost no energy, right? So if you do pick up um, like an account and you're re-rolling, a uh, smart idea is to actually go to the Chamber of Desires, I believe, and you can actually start farming out a little bit of experience on your characters or some materials and they will cost you zero energy so probably doing the levels is a smart idea 
And uh, if I remember while I'm doing it, I might actually show you guys so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Because it's been a while. If you want to see my other videos, the ones where it shows you how to set up Nox and do the rerolls, you're more than welcome to jump over to the tutorial playlist and uh, you can take a look at those ones. Normally that's where I will put, even this one will be in the tutorial playlist. So that way you might actually see it on your recommended to the right or left or wherever this video appears. And then you can re-roll if you wish, but honestly, um, maybe we can talk about that too. As of right now, the, well, it's hard. <laughs> it's so hard to kind of tell you like, okay, if you pull, and you get Noctis, then I, I pro honestly, I would probably keep that account, even though the key character right now we're getting, which is probably the strongest hitting character we have, is uh, Olive. So y if you get Olive, then yeah, you, you're you set up pretty good. Olive is pretty pretty solid because she doesn't require you to have dual wield. She's got in inherited inside her own kit the ability to have double hand. Her double hand allows her to hit really, really hard. So by the time she gets to level 100, she's already got this double hand in, in her thing. Plus, Bart's is a little bit easier to get. So if you can get another double hand on her. Uh, the only limitations with uh, Olive is her weapons, her gear, right? So she's a physical damage dealer, whereas Noctis is he's a utility character. You can use him for a lot more things. So where am I going with this? If you got Noctis, I would still probably just play with Noctis, even though it wasn't Olive. I would still probably be very happy with that and continue. Uh, a lot of people out there are saying if you're re-rolling, don't re-roll for like Lightning or Lunith. Their time has come and passed. Yeah, for them it has come and passed. And by them I mean like those players who are saying that like for me getting like another Lightning or Lunith, it, that time has passed. It's it's not it's not going to make a difference for me. I think this is where we get our first set of uh, tickets after we summon here. But yeah, the time has passed for me. But whoops, what do we do here? Uh, but for you guys as new players, Lightning, Lunith, all of those guys, even Gilgamesh, and those guys are still very, very good for you guys. Because you have to remember, when they get to level 100, they get an inherited dual wield, which is going to change the game for you drastically. All of a sudden, your characters are hitting two times. Yes, the first time is being hit for 100%, the next one is a little bit less, but still, that is going to be huge for you for beating quests and getting through those events. Um, people are taking into consideration that they've been playing for so long and they're like, oh, well, you know, uh, actually, I don't think we need to go anymore here. We're going to go home. But yeah, they're taking into consideration where they sit. And they're like, oh, well, Olive is really good. Yeah, it is. She is very good if you have the right weapons, if you have the right TMs. She's amazing. Uh, no, 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 we don't care. Uh, let's see what we get. <clears throat> Yeah, just keep that in mind when you guys watch other people's videos or whoever videos you're watching keep in mind that most people are making comments in relation to themselves it's all relative right just like time time is relative to the to the person who experienced the event right so if you're you're experiencing the game in a particular manner like a new player your relative term of what is good is completely different than the one of well, let's say somebody like myself or somebody else on youtube that is giving you advice you always want to take it into consideration of what units were better before. As of right now, we don't have any units. Like I think when Orlando comes out, that might change a little bit. So you can say like, okay, well, I'm going to go for Orlando. Uh, he's, he's pretty good, which I think he probably will be. But, that, but again, how good he's going to be for you without TMs is questionable. All right, we're going to start off with the half off first because everybody's got it. So let's a roll. Let's a roll a half off. We'll see how much luck we have and see what's going on. All right, uh, lucky rolls. It's so funny when, you, when I'm doing rerolls, I don't feel any pressure. Like when I do the rolls for myself, my heart like hurts. Ugh. So far, <laughs> Badil, the best unit in game. Alma, Freya, and Edgar. Overall, not too bad units except Badil. Back, back back all right so i don't know when this ends i'm gonna literally second i'm finished recording this i'm actually gonna uh, render this right away and put it online right away so that way you guys can see this because i don't remember when this ends and i want to make sure that you guys can see if you are new and you want to re-roll then technically you can have it set up today and you could probably find what you're looking for today let's go we got a gold blue gold blue so if you are new 
the when you do a multi summon that's 11 plus 1 the blues will definitely turn into yellow so we'll, I'll show you what I mean they go to, to yellow no matter what it's guaranteed that you will get one uh, one four star unit so let's see if anything else happens here so probably not gonna crack into anything but uh, we are going to see one rainbow in the center here so here we go so we got Shizuru Garnet Garnet Warrior of Light then we're going to get Shaza, Rosa, and Guy. Okay, I'm just going to close these guys. Let them all finish. Uh, we got Maria, Garland, and Kuja. And then we're going to see what this guy is. What is the rainbow here? The rainbow is Delita. Delita is an interesting support unit. Uh, I wouldn't hold on to this unit because he's not, not super solid. But he is a 5 star. <clears throat> shadow. Best character in game for sure. If you get Shadow, keep him. I'm just kidding. If you get Shadow, don't don't keep him. Shadow is not, not going to be the best character you got. Boom, boom, boom. So hope. So this account in the middle actually is pretty good. As you can see, it got a bunch of uh, 4 star crystals plus a rainbow. Whereas these other ones are hmm, struggling. <clears throat> we'll go over all of them in a second. We'll talk about it. Oh yeah, this count here is stacked right now. Tala, Hayate, Leon, Artemios, Badil. I'm gonna finish with the Badil. Luca. Okay, X that's perfect. So this one here, you got Shizuru, bunch of blue units, Leon, Luca. So you got a good damage dealer, another good TM here. You got a decent healer, one of the best mages in game right now. Uh, we got a healer here, Garland, Shadow's terrible. This one here is just bad. This one here, you got a magic dealer, you got a, a five star base with Cloud, seven. This one here is actually pretty nice. Plus you got dual wield here. And uh, yeah, this one here is Warrior of Light and Lena and X-Death are probably the only ones. Hayate has got a good TM, which is the hat, the cowl. Okay, so that was the uh, 10 plus one, that was pretty good. All right, so now we're gonna go and do our <clears throat> our tickets. So we got five tickets each here, so we'll just finish this off. Get it ready there, boom, 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 then boom, 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 boom. What do we got, what do we got? I'm still, actually, I've done these rerolls a, a few times. I'm still yet to get more than one rainbow on one account in a session. All right. So, but I also, before I forget, generally when you're re-rolling, you only get the 5 tickets. It used to be 10 tickets. And then if you fight all the way to the first boss, which is the Ochu boss, you will actually get another ticket. Plus, uh, as a more Lapis, so you can actually do another few pulls. So I think in total you can do like 7 or 8 pulls maximum when this 10 plus 1 leaves. So if you're looking at re-rolling and you're unhappy, this is the time. Boom! We got another rainbow here on the left side. So let's close off these guys here. We're going to enjoy that rainbow. So <clears throat> right now there is a 1% chance for a rainbow. And there is a 5% chance that the rainbow crystal here is going to be um, olive. And then there is a... What the hell is this? Oh yeah. <laughs> Miyuki. I love her thing. That's so good. And there is a 5% chance that it's going to be olive. And then, then there's a bunch of chances for it to be uh, all the other... Uh, what do you call it? Five star base unit. So the good news is, is with the new system that they implemented, this is always going to be a five star unit. So we're going to check to see which five star unit it is. It's probably going to be Olive. It's, she's got the highest chance. So we ended up getting Olive. So this account here has Olive. So Nox One has got Olive. Cool. <clears throat> and then we're going to go boom, 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 boom. So I think, <clears throat> actually we'll double check this right before the end. So let's go break them. Because um, we have a new banner coming tomorrow. <clears throat> new banner coming tomorrow. So if this doesn't end tonight or tomorrow, nice and snow, we got a tank. So this one, this left account is actually getting pretty good. Um, <clears throat> then tomorrow when this event takes place, if it's still around, then you can actually pull for the new unit, uh, which is gonna be Queen. I believe that's where her name is, Queen. She's gonna be the new unit you can pull for. So if you wanted Queen and you want to reroll, you can reroll. But honestly, if you're gonna be rerolling, 
Olive is 100 times better than Queen. She's not very good. Alright, let's go. So we're almost finished. We got one more. After this, we're going to take a look at our luck. <coughs> Come on, break into a rainbow. So yeah, also if you're new here, if you don't understand, it can break from blue to gold and from gold to rainbow all in one go. So it depends. You can actually get a blue crystal and it could break all the way to gold. It's very rare, but it can happen. So there's still a possibility for you to get it, even though you see the, the blue crystal. All right. And here is the last one. Let's see if in, if this one here or this one here can get another rainbow. That would be great. <laughs> then I could have another thing marked off my achievement list. Nope. So we're going to break the blue ones first. Hope that they break into gold. And then we'll break all the gold. Nothing. Shara, Shara, Sabin. Ah, oh, you ruined it. We could have had four Sharas. Nope. Is it Shara? Oh, no. We got a shine. Oh. Alright. So we will look at we will take a look at the units and what we'll do here for you we're gonna get the pop-ups units units. So this is gonna give us all the pop-ups. <coughs> okay, let's see here. I'm just looking to see the free stock with some of this ends March 9th. So that's ending March 9th. I don't see it here. I don't know why, but it's only a small past event. Okay, there we go. 20 million celebration downloads. This is what I'm looking for. So it ends at the same time. So you have a few days. You'll actually be able to do this till the 9th, which is going to be till next week, Thursday. So if you really wanted to go pull for queen, you could do this same method and go get queen if you really wanted to. But I'm telling you, if you're looking at doing it, you probably want to do this for all of which is going to be probably to your last day. So probably by the time you see this video, it might already be too late. All right, let's look at the units, units, units. So this one here got olive. Pretty good. Over here, we ended up getting Delita. So those are the two marketed units these other two accounts are garbage so what i do is i will go like this so see again we have the number up here it says nox 4 so there's nox 4 right there i'm gonna go here and write delita and then keep it and then here it's nox 1 nox 1 i'm gonna go in here and type olive okay and then i'm actually going to stop this one and this one, so it's gonna take a second. It's gonna stop them. Okay, I'm gonna delete them. I don't really care about them. I don't. I don't need them. So I have Delita and Olive there. So at this point, if I have somebody coming to me and they say, "Hey, look, I'm. I was hoping to, you know, I want to start playing the game," I can tell them, I'm "Like, okay, well, I got an account that has Ace on it. I got one that has Olive on it. I got one that's got uh, Delita on it." So obviously the one with Olive is probably going to be the best one right now. It's got, it's got a healer. It just needs a, a tank. Well, it has a tank because it has snow. So yeah, like she's, you're pretty much ready to go. So you can actually do all these things as well. And you're pretty much uh, set. So if I find somebody, I can give that to them. So the question is, is there's many different ways of giving the accounts to people. So I don't really know what the best way people feel comfortable with. But normally with my friends, I just get them to give me their Facebook account. And what I do is I just log into the account with their Facebook and it then binds the account to their Facebook account. And then when they log in using their Facebook account, they have that account. So that's normally how that goes. So hopefully this video helped you guys out a little bit to make a decision whether you want to reroll or not. Um, this is the best time to do it because you get to pull a lot more. You're looking at what? So just by the solid numbers, you got 11 plus the five, that's 16 plus that half off that's 17 pulls that you can do minimum if you clear a little bit more up to the o ochu you might be able to do you'll get another ticket that'll put you at 18 plus you should be around another 500 lapis so that should be able to put you to 19 you should be able to do um you know just or like around whoopsies around 20 around 20 runs or 20 pulls you should be able to do per an account so if you do multiple accounts you should you should at least get one rainbow so we were able to get two rainbows uh within all the pulls we did across the four accounts okay perfect anyway so if this helped you out please leave a like 
if you like the if you're new to the uh, to my channel why don't you subscribe stick around i try and do some tips and tricks and tutorials now and then but it's mostly final fantasy brave xps and a little bit of dragon ball z so stick around for future content all right this is vordy and i'll see you in the next video i'm out of here peace